Hi everyone, this is Lee. Um, just wanted to come to you with another share tonight, or today, whatever. And um, this is a journal that I made just um, this weekend. Um, finally had some of the wedding stuff out of the way, but I really, really wanted to make a journal just to be making a journal. And this is what I wanted to do was um, a beachy themed um, the um, envelope, mini envelope. Um, so it's a chunky one, of course, and I have it somewhat squished. <laughs> so I'm known for my chunky journals, no doubt. Um, I haven't put any um, seam binding on it um, or any kind of charm on the outside. I've got a little charm here. Got a little lobster and a seashell with some beads on the closure. And this is, this is a temporary closure. So I don't really know what the final is going to be, but I had to do something to kind of sort of wrap it up temporarily so that I could mentally move on to the next project. Um, so anyway, there's um, 24 pages in here, so 48, um, and then uh, 84 front and back, right? No. 24, 48, <laughs> 86, yeah, okay. Anyway, whatever, I'm so tired, I, I, don't, I don't even know anymore. Um, but what I did here was I lay, did a lot of layering on the front um, cover. And um, some of this, this is mostly K and Company stuff here. Um, the acetate um, prints. And then these I just kind of roughed up um, to make it look old. And I even sanded on the front of it a little bit to make it look old. Um, and... Um, so let's go inside. What I did was a Tim Holtz um, little clip and I put it on a round paper clip just for temporary closure kind of thing. But anyway, all right. So for the inside, this was <laughs> a fortune. It says tomorrow is a good day for trying something new. And this was on the... I, I, put this piece of um, vellum that I had stamped by the sea, it was a nautilus shell, um, on top of a um, jelly print someone had sent me one time in a swap, and I thought, well, it's a good time to use it with the colors, so I've been wanting to do something red so bad, and so this was my opportunity, so, with these papers. So, um, yeah, this was the... Um, by the sea or whatever I think um, by the uh, paper studio um, but anyway but this is um, from another paper line I just made a little booklet to go in here um, for right now and did a little bit of stamping no die cuts this time believe it or not um, got some I need something for a, a, a tag I guess I'll just use this Anyway, this is a little tuck both sides. Just cut punched out a circle to go with it um, to kind of make it. I love the map theme throughout too. So, but this was just a piece of paper, cardstock paper that I copy dyed and stamped and kind of distressed a little bit, inked up. Some of the pages are copied. The cop the copy paper is all copy dyed. The designer paper is not. Um, just put some trim, um, some ephemera that I copy dyed and inked up. Stamps that are punched some little feet. I thought those were so cute for the beach. See? Very cute. This is a little side tuck. A little bag here. This is a tag from some of the papers that I used in it. Some red trim. This is a piece of um, packaging 
believe it or not. Um, don't throw away your good clear packaging if it's in good shape. You can use um, stays on ink and stamp on this. Now I stamp the lighthouse on the back with the stays on. Allow it to dry before you touch it. But on your words, you're going to have to think stamping on the top because that will be backwards if you stamp them on the back. Um, I almost did that and I thought, oh gosh, that's going to be backwards. So I, I was so glad I thought about it because I loved this once I did it. And I uh, chomped the corners with my crocodile. But I really like the way it turned out. So um, got some fibers on some of the clips here on inside throughout. That's just a little journaling spot. I love this stamp. I've been wanting to use it. Reminded me of like being in the Hudson Bay in New York <laughs> or in a bay looking out over a cityscape. This was just a piece of packaging that I put coffee dyed paper on the back. I threaded some trim through and made the little nautical knots and put a map, some of this map paper on it and stamped. And it's a beautiful sentiment. It says, time is a companion that goes with us on the journey. It reminds us to cherish each moment because it will never come again. What we leave behind is not as important as how we lived. That is such a true little statement. And I love the little lobster bag. He's one of my favorites. Just going to breeze through this really quick. This was on drop paper. I just stamped and tore it out with my hands and kind of put it in the middle of that doily. Little tuck. And the ship is the stop. I like the lobster paper as well. It's really pretty. I've been wanting this paper, but I had to make sure I would have time to work with it. So this is just a blank tag and the little sunglass paper clip. I always find time for things that make you feel happy. So true. That's just a little stop there. Another bag. This is just a little booklet that I made with a journaling card. I made doily stop. This is a real stamp from Canada. I've got a bag full of stamps from their international stamps. So they're from all over. And I just tried to find something with the red theme so that it would kind of tie in. This is one of my favorite pages too, and I stamped, it's never too late to find out who you want to be. And I put some red trim on each side so the lobster would kind of pop. <clears throat> so tough. Always take the scenic route. I love that stamp. <laughs> it's so true. It's so me. This is a new little punch that I got. I really liked it. When I coffee dyed this paper, this is the worst paper in the world, this little stack. Um, when I coffee dyed it, it separated a bit from the front, but it's still intact, so you can journal on that. And this is just one I used um, some um, chipboard and just put the paper on top and some copy dyed pages on the back. Collaged some. And this one is also a, in a stop here. This is just a little memo pad that I have and I use them in a lot of things that let that colors those colors tie in. I think it's really pretty. That's the song I used to sing to my kids. <laughs> You're my sunshine, my only sunshine. That's a cute little image too. And this is just a little journaling spot that I made a little booklet out of. Some red trim on, some washi, another side tuck. This page is gorgeous. I love that paper. 
It's just cardstock and some um, brick rack. And then I just punch the little feet all along the edge of that page. And that's what we need to leave at the beach when we go, guys. It makes me crazy to see people's trash. I hate going and picking up trash, but I will. I hate it. I hate seeing trash left on the beach. That's my rant for the day. <laughs> this is an embossed piece of cardstock. Um, and then I took my um, little um, vintage photo and just kind of went over it and front and back and it really turned out pretty. You could put a um, photo there or just um, write a, you know, a message or whatever and put it there or a sentiment. Um, anything you want to do there. And these are just some tags. These are some that uh, somebody sent me. It was, uh, I think, a jelly print somebody did. But one of those $50 bills from the dollar store that I just inked up. And some more of that sand dollar seashell paper. And this is just a little pocket I made. I just tore the edges of what I thought was going to fit. And I punched um, with this little slit punch. Where is it? There it is. Right here if you can see. It's the little slit punch. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> that. Um, just go all along the edge and then I, I wove the jute twine through there um, to make it kind of nautical looking. And then there's room of course for things in there. I'm probably going to cover the flaps but I'm not going to leave them out I don't think because I don't want it to interfere with this and it certainly won't fit around it so um, yeah I'm probably gonna just leave it tucked in and I haven't done anything to the back cover yet and I've still got to put my gel medium on um, but I did want to share this little journal I thought it was very cute so thanks for joining me and um, I hope everyone has had a wonderful weekend my little honeymooners came in um, this afternoon, so I'm happy that they're home and know they're well. And um, but anyway, everybody have a great weekend, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.